Hey everybody, my name's Louis Allen. Welcome to my review of the CKK Electronics Infinite Reverb pedal. So CKK sent me this pedal uh, a little while ago now. It's taken me a while to get around to reviewing it, um, but I'm so glad I did. This pedal's amazing. So on first look at this pedal, um, I took it out of the box. It looks like a straight up reverb pedal, um, but it's not. It's actually a lot more comprehensive than that. Um, just before I get stuck into the meat and potatoes of this review, uh, it comes in a cool little box. It comes in its own little bag. Uh, it's got a lot of box candy in there uh, to keep you interested. Um, so that's really cool. As you can see from the little feed of the pedal, it's in a really cool blue finish. Uh, the knobs look really cool, um, good compact size. So this is a stereo pedal as well, so you can actually go stereo into it and stereo out. All the other tracks that you hear in this review, they're all stereo, so you can hear the huge spread of sound that it can offer. So when I first plugged into this pedal, uh, it's definitely got a huge decay time on this pedal. <laughs> Uh, some of the features it's got are really cool actually. Compared to other reverb pedals that I own and I use live and in the studio, it is quite different actually. As a guitarist I'll use a lot of spring reverbs, um, a lot of plate reverbs, a lot of hall reverbs. And one thing I noticed straight away about this reverb is it's very similar to a lot of studio reverbs that I would use. So little things like having a, a damping option. So that dampening feature can be used to take some of the top end off of the reverb tail. And that enables you to hear a lot of the top end frequencies from the guitar without the reverb tail getting in the way of that. Two of the knobs that you've got at the top of the pedal are decay and reverb. So the decay will be how long the reverb tail is gonna be. And the reverb is the ratio of reverb signal to dry signal that you get. So the little micro switch that you see in the middle there, uh, you can turn that on, which is when you flick that up and that gives you the infinite reverb. And that's kind of used for creating guitar drones where you can have that going in the background and then play other little bits over the top. Uh, good for like intros and outros on songs. The other control knob on the pedal is for a pre-delay. Now in my experience, I haven't really seen a pre-delay control on a lot of reverb pedals that I've used. On a lot of the reverbs I use in my studio, I'll always have a pre-delay knob, but not necessarily on the guitar pedals that I'd use. So the pre-delay on a reverb is really useful if you have, say, a specific tempo of a song. You can set that pre-delay time in tempo with the song, and it does wonders to the sound. It really makes the reverb pop out. And the other thing that it's got on there is obviously the on and off switch, which is just out of shot uh, on the other camera there.
one thing I noticed about this pedal straight away, which is definitely more noticeable on some of the other clips that I've got in this video, is when you turn the decay up, you get this really swirly kind of, it's not quite chorus because you don't get the kind of pitch um, modulation in it, but it's got this really swirly kind of atmospheric -y reverb, which I really love. So check this out. kind of like it sort of bounces around which is again quite reminiscent of a lot of studio reverbs that I use. So with regards to the infinite uh, reverb switch in the middle I've got it set on that already. Uh, unless you turn the decay and the reverb up pretty high uh, there's not a crazy amount of difference but again once you start maxing those out that's when you really notice the infinite reverb. <laughs> swampy with that sound actually uh, but again for creating drones for like intros and outros of songs that's a really cool feature actually just to give you an idea of what I was talking about with the pre-delay thing earlier trying to set it to the tempo of the song uh, if you listen closely you can kind of hear the guitar signal and then when the reverb cuts in so let me just turn it all the way up so there's a definite gap so if your temp if your tempo of a track was that kind of thing. It just gives a chance for the guitar signal and the reverb signal to kind of share the same space without kind of instantly becoming a mash of sound. So that's a really cool feature that's definitely worth messing around with. Again, if you've only got one of these pedals on your pedal board, you don't want to be adjusting them for every song on your set, but if you've got a specific song uh, that you need that big reverb for, it's a really cool feature to have on there. So the dampening feature on this pedal is really cool as well. If you turn it all the way, I think it's this way. So you have all like the full frequency from the guitar, you have loads of top end, loads of bottom end. Sometimes um, a good trick that a lot of studio engineers use is they'll maybe um, low pass filter uh, the reverb tails down to maybe between 4k and 7k just to let the high frequencies of the instrument or the voice kind of carry through and not get too muddy up there. So I'll try and show you what I mean by that. So if I turn that uh, dampening up to maybe halfway. So you still get that huge tail of reverb there, but it leaves a little bit more space in the top frequencies for the guitar to cut through. And it obviously becomes more noticeable when you stop playing and the tail has an opportunity to do its thing. So again, that's a really cool feature.
guitar reverbs as well. If you want kind of just a straight up guitar reverb sound, it will totally do that and it will be really convincing doing it. Again, I think knobs kind of in the middle, 12 o'clock. And that's great as well. If you need, if you've got like a spring reverb from your amp or on your pedal board, it's just another good flavor that's more of a studio verb than a guitar verb. So again, you can have those kind of swirly big sounds as well as the reverb on your amp. And again, just gives you a different kind of vibe of reverb, which I really love. So anyway, if you get an opportunity to try this CKK Electronic Infinite Verb pedal out, give it a go. It's really impressed me. And for the money, I don't think you can go far wrong if you need that kind of reverb sound. And it's something that's probably gonna complement the pedals that you've already got as well. So anyway, I hope that shed some light on the pedal. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, bye.